Grandpa Beck's Games presents Nomi Around, a game for two to seven players. To win, you must be the player with the lowest score after three rounds. Now, let's get started. Shuffle the cards and deal nine to each player. No peeking. Then, place the deck in the center of the table and flip over two cards beside it to start the discard piles. Arrange your cards in a grid like this, then flip over any two cards of your choice. During the round, you'll replace the face down cards in your grid. The round ends after a player chooses to replace their last face down card. All other players have one final turn, then any remaining face down cards are revealed. On your turn, you may take a card from one of the two discard piles or draw a card from the deck. If you choose to keep the card you draw, trade it for any card in your grid, face up or face down. Discard the card you replaced in the discard pile of your choice. If one discard pile is empty, you must discard it into that pile. You never have to keep any card that you draw. Don't want it? Just discard it and end your turn. There are four kinds of cards in the deck. Positives are the most common card type and range in value from three to eight. They are scored at face value, unless you arrange three of a kind in a row or a column. Completed sets earn negative points. For example, a row of fours would earn you negative four points, or arranging three sevens in a column would earn you negative seven points. If a row and a column of the same value intersect, use score points for both. Another rule called bouncing applies only to positive cards. Bouncing allows you to keep any positive cards you reveal, so long as you already have at least one card of the same value. If you do, you can keep the revealed card by replacing another card with it. You can bounce multiple times per turn, but remember only positives can be bounced. Negative cards range in value from negative one to negative four. They are simply scored at their face value. Hazards are always bad news, at least for you. When you encounter a hazard, you must discard it as soon as possible. They go in their own separate discard pile. After discarding, everyone except for you gets to reveal one of their own face down cards. Any hazards exposed at the end of the round are worth 10 points. Mulligans are wilds that carry a value of zero. They can be used in place of any positive value needed to complete a row or a column of three cards. They can even count as two different values to complete a row and a column. You can only keep one mulligan each round. If you draw or reveal a second one, you must discard it. Mulligans revealed after the round ends are the exception. Speaking of the end of the round, let's take a look at a scoring example. This player completed a row of sevens earning negative seven points and a row of fours earning negative four. The six and the negative two are both scored at face value and the hazard is worth positive 10. Their total score for the round comes out to three. The first player out earns a bonus of negative five, but only if they have the lowest score for the round. If not, they receive a penalty of positive five instead. And that is Noming Around.